So what I want to do is, I want to print the uh, sum of n natural numbers and please forgive the spelling of print when extra t has come. So I want to print the first n natural numbers. So this previous class we did you may say, correct we did it but if you recollect that was in the reverse order 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 like that I was getting. I want 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If I give you 5 I want 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to come not 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. But can this problem be recursively solved 100%? So see for example if n is 5 I want to print the first n natural numbers, right? So how I can do this? I can start like this. Think about it. First of all, I want to break it down into smaller problems. If I want to print the first five natural numbers, I can break it down into a smaller problem where I'm first printing the first four natural numbers. I can actually break it down into a smaller problem where I'm printing the first three natural numbers. I can break it down into a smaller problem where I'm printing the first two natural numbers break it down into a smaller problem where I am printing the, only the first one natural number, break it down into a smaller problem where I am printing 0 and I hit my base and then G keep coming back and print it. How sorry might I? Simple, what am I saying? Keep one value i equal to 1, initial start with 1 because always it should begin from 1. What I will do is like this, so uh, 5 is uh, given to me, so what I will do is First, before printing first five, five natural numbers, I am going to print the first four natural numbers. Before printing four, I will print the first three natural numbers. Before printing three, I will print the first two natural numbers. Before printing two, I will print the first one natural number. Before printing one, I will go to zero. But once I hit zero, I have hit my base. And what this should do is, it will, what it will do is, it will first print. See here? I mean, this is the base condition. After this, this should further return. When it returns, after returning, I will print. Return, 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 like this. So your challenge is, how are you going to write code such that, till I hit 0, I will not print. Once I hit 0, return print, return print, return print, return print, return print, return print should happen. How are you going to do this? Now watch it all of you, if, if, if I have to write code for this, understand it. See very simple, yes. <clears throat> see this is how I would like to, first let me show you the recurrence relationship here. So basically it's very simple, I will create a function called as print n, for which I will send n which is your n natural numbers. Before printing n natural numbers, I need n minus 1 natural numbers. Before that n minus 1, n minus 1, n minus 1, n minus 1 till I hit 0. Once I hit 0, return, print, return, print, return, print, return, print, return, print. Oh really sir, watch it. I will go below that create one more function. I uh, will call that as uh, static uh, void because we are printing not returning anything, print n and n in 10 I will pass. Now inside of that very simple. What I will do is first of all forget about base condition. Before printing n you first want to find n minus 1. So I will tell print n of n minus 1. And why is you are not telling return because I do not want to return anything I am printing it. Okay. And here see if I need 5 I will first go to 4, 3, 2, 1. 0, once I hit 0 and once it returns, I will come to the next line and print whatever is the n value. So I will tell system.out.println n like this. But this will lead to infinite recursion. So I will go give my base condition. My base condition is rather very simple. Base condition is if n becomes 0. Then I don't want to print 0, but I want to return. So I will tell return. Hope you are able to think. See now how it will work, 5, 5 will uh, first come not the base condition, so it will call 4, 4 will come it is not the base condition, it will call 3, 3 will come it is not the base condition, it will call 2, 2 will come it is not the base condition, it will call 1, 1 is not the base condition, right, so it will call 0, 0 is the base condition, hence return, return means control will come back here for 1, after that what am I doing, printing 1, no more lines are there, 
obviously control will go back to whoever called it which is 2 control will come here next time printing after that no more lines are there control will go back to 3 control came here next it will print 3 no more lines go back to 4 print 4 no more lines go back to 5 print 5 no more lines come back to main stack is done how many of you understood this code completely put a yes in the chat What about others? <coughs> okay, okay, fine. Now, uh, so this I hope it is crystal clear to everyone. So this I, we don't require it. So that is a mistake, you can leave it. Anyways, so now what I'm going to do is, um, I hope till here things are clear. Now the next one is, next one is recursively I want to uh, basically, yeah, you can go there. Oh yeah, you want to execute this, sorry. Let me call this first. So system.out.println. Uh, I will tell a print n of 5 like this. So no need to tell system.out.println because you are printing it. I hope I am clear, right? Yeah. So if I do this. Then if I go put in the relevant command, no issues. If I execute, then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I hope I'm clear with this. Hmm? Okay, but but see, you want to print it in the reverse order. If you want to print it like 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, then all you have to do is, first you are calling, then you are printing. First if you print, then you call, then what will happen? 5 will first print 5, then call 4. 4 will first print 4, then call 3. 3 will first print 3, then call 2. So, I will just exchange these lines. As you can see, I have done this. If I do this, I will get reverse. So, I will get 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. How many of you understood this logic? Put a yes in the chat. How many of you understood? Printing forward, printing reverse. Awesome, guys. Cool. 